Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello guys, what's up? How are you today? We hope you all is safe and healthy condition Oh yeah, by the way, how is school? Is it smooth? Nowadays, someone can get a proper education But do you know who brought us like now? She is Raden Ajun Kartini And today, we want to tell you about the struggle Raden Ajun Kartini to elevate the status of women Have you enjoyed? In ancient times, some were always to put down upon and then have the right to freedom of choice as well as not being allowed to get a higher education or even choose a husband to it. That's what Radin Ajim Kartini, or what we usually know as Radin Ayu Kartini first, which, which was the final for against the restaurant traditions. Radin Ayu Kartini was born on April 21st, 1879 in Jabara. One day, her stepsister said, be a woman, must be graceful. Your body is the most private position. We should be able to take care of it. It is our obligation as well as I later. And Kartini was just listening carefully. Until one day, she had a book given to her by her older brother who continued his studies in the Netherlands. In the book, told the story of a woman from the Netherlands who was highly educated and becomes a lawyer. What's even more surprising was that she was married and had a child. It made Kartini believe that everyone around the world had the same right as men. I want people here to have the same right as men, just like women in other countries. The body can be attached, but the soul must fly freely. She also encouraged her younger sister to be enthusiastic in gaining knowledge and adding insight. Kartini and her two younger sister only study up to elementary school and then to be continued to look up at home and waiting for they will be entertained, be tortured by their parents. Also limited, Kartini and her two younger sister were still enthusiastic about studying at home. Even so, Kartini often read books and magazines at home and abroad. Kartini also wrote a successful work that attracted the Dutch people and made them submit the work directly to Kartini's father, so it could be disseminated on his behalf. One day, she finally met with Mr. Abendana. After the meeting with Mr. Abendana, Kartini started to think how to advance women here. Yeah, education is very important, and I have to start from now on with the knowledge of the Dutch language I have. I will teach you one here, of course, with the help of Rumini and Karina. From there, Kartini opened a learning garden in her yard, assisted by her two year old sister, and invited people to learn, write, and read. Okay, today I will teach you. How to read start from the letters of alphabet? All of them, follow me well. This is big A and this is small A. Everybody follow me, say A. A. That's good. Kartini is very happy to able to teach them. A few times ago, Kartini got a scholarship over in the Netherlands.
Kartini was fair for stretch and finally she decided to get married and follow her father's press. Okay, I want to get married. But on first condition, I don't want to watch my husband fit at the wedding. Second, I don't want to follow the rules of his first wife. I want to be humans in general. And one more. I want to ask Nasira, called mother, and move to the next house. Kartini also married a man who had been betrayed by her father. Kartini also bought school for girls and continued to teach with the full support of her husband. Kartini died on September 17, 1904. Until now, Kartini has a foundation specifically for women's schools in Semarang and has been in Malang, Bogor, and Chiribur. Kartini books entitled Out of Darkness, Rising Light has been a witness to how she struggles to advance education for women. So, that's all from us. Thank you so much guys for watching our video for today. Sorry for all any mistake. And the last we say, thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.